Creek. This is the coolest little road. Let's go down here and take a look. It's right along the little river here. Or the inlet. That comes in from Lake Erie. I don't know if that's the Thames River or not. I would have to look at the map. This is not a very long road, but it's kind of windy and I like coming in here. Definitely can't go through here very fast. Usually somebody walking or jogging or biking or whatever. You get to see some nice farmland, nice trees. Look at the beautiful trees over there by the barn. That is nice. Some cool horses. Oh, we got some guinea hens. I think they're guinea hens. Just a really nice little place. I've made a mistake in here a few times. I just decided, oh, I'll just go on straight and go down and see what's there. Yeah, there is a, a dead end over here. Well, not right there, just around the turn here. You'll see shortly. I pointed at the wrong turn. It's this one here. I went down the hill, just sort of dead ends, it's uh, doesn't really go anywhere. At least it did. What a winky dink. Let's go down and find out. Let's go down and have a little look. Oh, it's steep. And it's... <clears throat> I just love exploring these kind of places. You end up in some real cool bridge or something like that. Oh, not very good road here, but we're not going to go too fast. Anywho, anywho, oh, like a little farmer's field here hidden away. Whoa, look at this. Look at this bridge. Just look at it, guys. Look at it. Oh, let's get in trouble. Let's get in trouble. I don't think I don't think there's any traffic. Let's take a little look. Let us take a little look. Wow, look at that. The water's not very clear, but that's really scenic. Let's go over here. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. That's beautiful. I just love that. And this is just a random bridge. Have a look at the gold wing. It's all cleaned up except for a few bugs, which is optional. Got my foot pegs out. Look at that, guys. This was all about. This is what it's all about. Okay. Let's get back on and continue. See what else we can find. There's got to be more. There's got to be more to find. This is why we ride. We ride, we're always in search. We're in search of the ultimate location. The twisty road. The hidden curves. And the beautiful 
open roads with the canopy and over the top. The hidden driveways. This is why we ride. You just forget all your issues you have in life. And you just explore. Oh, I forgot all about this hill that's back here. This is one steep hill. Woohoo! Look at us go. Drop down, gear down, baby. Let's go. Let's get up here. Where does this even end up to? Oh, ends up on gravel road. Yep. We don't want to do that. Well, not that we don't want to do it. We're not going to do it. Let us. Now we get to go back down. Now we get to go back down. And you see that sign there? See this sign here with the uh, truck? That's not an exaggeration guys. That hill is that steep. It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. And I see another road down here. Off to the right. Let's see if we can capture that when we go down. It's a gravel so we're not going to go there. Whoa! Look at this guys. This is fun. Look at this. Just let the transmission slow it up. Let's have a look here. Let's just take a peek. Just look at that road. That is nice. That is nice. Maximum 30 kilometers per hour. Well, this is a little treasure to explore. I wish it had been paved all the way up through there. I would have definitely gone up. That would have been such a nice place to check out. I don't even know if this got a name. love these bridges these are so cool and this is where we were just stopped stop here and get ready to climb the hill I know the camera doesn't show this is very steep but it is steep slow and steady slow and steady So this is probably just going to be another random little video just maybe on this road uh, if it is if I do publish this you know thanks for coming along guys it's uh, it's fun getting out here just doing some videos and uh, I hope some of these little places you you like hope some of the videos you like take interest in them don't forget if you like them subscribe it don't cost nothing if you subscribe and hit the like button that just makes uh, my videos come up quicker and more often in the search engine on uh, YouTube that's about the only benefit and of course makes me feel better when I see my numbers climb but other than that that's about it so we'll just continue on in here and just look at this it's the kind of a road that you just want to go slow on and just capture whatever you can see just make it burn into your memory that is when you have a long winter and snowing outside you want to picture these roads and I know I will this is the chap I passed earlier he must be thinking where is this guy going once I go by him again spent more time back there trying to find out exactly what that little extension of the road was but guys it's flipping hot it's enough to roast it could fry an egg on the pavement I'm telling you it's hot now mind you I don't have any eggs with me but just saying just look at this 
Ain't this something? There's some ripples here in this pavement here. You gotta watch the turn a little bit. I like these roads that are just off the beaten path a little bit. Just uh, just out off farmland areas. And it's just one ninety degree turn after the other. See that? Ooh, this is so so, uh, so much of a turn here. You feel like putting on a signal light. You feel like you should put on your turn signal, turn right. And guys, I always run, or I have been this year, with my high beam headlight on, unless I forget it. Uh, I have seen my bike on other videos that uh, some of my friends do, and uh, my headlight didn't seem very bright. You know, if, as far as ongoing traffic, seeing it, so I decided to just run a bit of head headlight on all the time now on high high beam. One thing I really like guys is those uh, convex mirrors that I installed. I was watching uh, Robert White photography, uh, he put out a video and he was just riding his bike, uh, doing, doing whatever on, on one of his videos, uh, doing his moto vlog, and I noticed that he had those convex mirrors, so in the comments I just asked him what he thought of the convex mirrors, and he said well they were really cheap but uh, he really likes them, they give him so much uh, road coverage for your blind spot. So I picked these ones up at Canadian Tire for like uh, 8 bucks and put them on. Wow. Yeah, they're cheap little mirrors, but do they ever feel, uh, or make you feel safe? Because you can really literally see out here, like really close with them. And uh, they're small, but they uh, have a good field of view. So, I really like them. One of them, that was probably my favorite accessory, as cheesy as that may sound, just from a uh, safety point of view. <laughs> 